morning. It's Thursday, July 15th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Hiding from God, in our scripture, Psalm 89. I have found my servant David. I have anointed him with my holy oil. I will steady him with my hand. With my powerful arm, I will make him strong. His enemies will not defeat him, nor will the wicked overpower him. I will beat down his adversaries before him and destroy those who hate him. My faithfulness and unfailing love will be with him, and by my authority he will grow in power. I will extend his rule over the sea, his dominion over the rivers, and he will call out to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. I will make him my firstborn son, the mightiest king on earth. I will love him and be kind to him forever. My covenant with him will never end. I will preserve an heir for him. His throne will be as endless as the days of heaven. But if his descendants forsake my instructions and fail to obey my regulations, if they do not obey my decrees and fail to keep my commands, then I will punish their sin with a rod and their disobedience with beating. But I will never stop loving him, nor fail to keep my promise to him. No, I will not break my covenant. I will not take back a single word I said. I have sworn an oath to David, and in my holiness I cannot lie. His dynasty will go on forever. His kingdom will endure as the sun. It will be as eternal as the moon, my faithful witness in the sky. The one story I heard over and again while in seminary was... I ran from God. The most loved and probably most despised text for a day's study was Jonah, the reluctant prophet who ran from God and was subsequently treated to a three-day submarine ride in the belly of a great fish, right back to where he was called to be in the first place. It seems hiding from God just won't do. But what's a God-called person to do when he's afraid to answer the call? Short answer, read Psalm 89. But read it looking at how God sees the call. God had chosen David as the next king of Israel to replace the faithless Saul. The call covers the width, breadth, and depth of how that call would be worked out by God with promises for David's protection, strength, and growing authority, infused with an unending measure of God's loving kindness. Even if the inhabitants of the kingdom were to refuse to cooperate, God gave David an assurance that his reign was going to endure as long as the stars, even as long and as sure as the mighty name of Yahweh. If a person called by God to serve is certain of God's character and promises, there seems to be little to hold one back from responding to that call. Except there is that one little reality. So many in history resisted the call. Peter resisted it, telling Jesus to leave him be. Peter was a sinful man and was in effect saying, Lord, you don't really want somebody like me. You're holy, and I'm not. See Luke chapter 5, verse 8. With Peter, it wasn't a matter of doubting God's ability. Peter questioned how Peter could ever be up to being God's man. And this is the fly in the ointment of any calling. We may not doubt God's calling in the generic sense that God has chosen to use even flawed human beings to accomplish his will. We doubt God's specific choice to use me. Doesn't the Lord remember this about me or the time I did that? Like Jonah, we just can't see it. And we want to find a little dark place to crawl in and hide from God. Isn't it ironic how God allows that? Just think of the three days Jonah was allowed to hide in a small, dark, and rather smelly fish's belly to think about his choice. For you today. So, are you still hiding from God these days? 
Go back and look at the promises God makes to those he calls to serve him. He may be calling you to serve by preaching or sharing your faith with a neighbor, but when he calls, remember the promises. Put your name at the end of each one. He's always been faithful, and that won't change. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.